welcome to another minecraft video today in this video i decided to do a, another tutorial on how to make two types of stew in minecraft now there actually are two types of stew that actually exist in minecraft and i'm going to be showing you guys the crafting recipe and how to make them in minecraft uh, just ignore this one over here this is actually i'm going to make another tutorial on how to do that but oh i uh, totally forgot to set the next off to survival mode so actually there are two types of stew that actually exist in the game of minecraft one or actually i should say there actually are three types of stew but one is actually unattainable and uncraftable they have to be made either on either in the crafting table or to be made okay whatever um anyway so actually i'm going to be showing you guys only two types of ba very basic stew that could actually involve two or one type of ingredient that actually is just single at once so first thing that you're actually going to need is a crafting table that's actually the first priority right here so i'm going to take a block of wood over here and I'm just going to convert that um into a crafting table just like that so they actually so the first stew that i'm going to be showing you guys how to make is a mushroom stew now if you were to be wandering around or actually if you were to look for a mushroom biome mushroom field which actually would have these giant mushrooms that are growing up from the sky or just have these little mushrooms actually growing on these blocks which actually is called mycelium then you could actually get mushrooms from them just actually by breaking one of these stuff and you could actually get yourself mushrooms like that or you could actually break one of these blocks to actually get mushrooms from that one as well but you probably will actually need an axe or just your hand to actually to do this one axe is much it's much faster to actually mine through these stuff particularly if it actually has uh, efficiency itself so what you're going to need is actually you're going to need a bowl as well and in order to make a bowl you actually gonna need some wood as well so to make a bowl you actually gonna go to your crafting table and I'm just gonna convert that into convert it into planks so we're gonna put it as a V shape just like how you actually use iron to make a crafting sorry to <laughs> to make a crown table that sounds weird um to actually make a bucket using iron ingots just like that you just use it for wooden planks and you actually get yourself four bowls then you don't really need your crafting table right away um you're just going to use a two by two space put them like that and then you're going to have a brown mushroom right here and then a red mushroom just like that and bam you got yourself a mushroom stew if you actually want to craft it in a crafting table that's also fine just put the bowl right over here put the red mushroom here and put the brown mushroom like this you can actually arrange it any way you actually want it doesn't really matter it just has to be these two ingredients and the bowl and once you do that you actually get yourself these mushroom stew which i must say are really really useful they can definitely do be useful for when you actually are in the nether let's say she are trying to survive in the nether and you couldn't find any type of food i mean i mean yeah you could kill the hoglins for meat but if you really want to eat something veggie something really really fresh you can actually get mushrooms and mushrooms can actually grow naturally on the netherite blocks not right here because actually i'm not in the nether i'm in the old world but yeah or you could also go to a uh taiga taiga forest which actually has pots all on the ground you could also find mushrooms like that as well or you could go to a cave which probably would actually have a little bit of mushrooms mushrooms can actually grow at some light level so yeah you might have to find mushrooms like that or just find them naturally by going to a giant taiga to actually find the mushrooms like that or go to a dark oak forest to actually find those giant mushrooms growing or locate yourself a mushroom biome uh, the mushroom field whatever that thing is and get mushrooms like that or you could just get it from underground or you could just get it from the nether it's actually growing on the netherrack and also crimson neelium and wolf neelium anyway so that's actually like the one type of stew you could actually create now i'm going to show another stew which actually is called beetroot soup it's not a stew it's a soup so in order to make a soup what you need, really need to do is actually either if you either are growing beetroot 
or just want to find a village to actually, to actually get some beetroot you could actually get beetroot like that so if you want you can actually grow the beetroot in any in any way you want it to be but you actually will need six beetroot i can't eat it's really strange so you probably would have known that beetroot that any thing including uh poppies roses stuff you could just put it right here including beetroot you put it right here and you will actually convert it into red dye but that's not what we want we want mushroom sorry we want beetroot soup so what we're going to do is we're going to put the bowl right here and we're going to put six beetroot in this format you could put the bowl in anywhere you want but the only thing to keep in mind is Oh yeah, you can even jumble around the recipe like that. You could just keep it like that any, any way you want. But the only thing to keep in mind is you need six beetroot to put it into a bowl. Many people actually been saying that you actually need like two beetroots or one beetroot to just make a soup. And I think the answer would probably be wrong because like if, just, just imagine putting one beetroot in this one, in just in this bowl, it'll just make a small little pixel of, it'll make, about four pixels of this bowl so yeah i think you really really do need six beetroot in order to put you know to make an actual soup one beetroot to actually just i mean i think the beetroot when you actually must them up together they actually create them they actually have a little bit of juice so i think that definitely does prove a point here but anyway that's all so that's the way how you actually make beetroot soup so these are these two recipes which are vegetarian if you were to be a chef thanks so much for thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video good bye and don't forget to be the awesome herobrine